Hey, welcome to RichardBankerWebDesign.com. Uh, today we're looking at my editor of choice. It's the Joomla CK Editor. I really like how they've put this together. And uh, the Joomla CK Editor has its own manager. It installs as a component. So you can see here it's got the plugin manager. It's got an installer because you can add different plugins for uh, Joomla CK can check your system, change your layout, and we're just going to go over some of this right now. So these are the different plugins that you have installed, and these just show up as buttons. So if I open this in a new tab, and we're going to pick on this beginner's article. Here you'll see my editor, and then you'll see the text, and you can see all the buttons, and a bunch of these like say if you look at this HTML5 audio here you'll see in the the plugins here as well so if I disable this plugin then and refresh my article you see that uh, my HTML5 audio has disappeared from here so we're just gonna leave that on And this is what Joomla CK looks like in the front. So then next we've got the installer. And it works exactly the same as the Joomla installer. And it just looks identical. You may get confused by it. But what it actually does is it allows you to uh, upload the plugin. And you can choose you know, which layout you want to install it in. Our layout manager. Here we have the different layouts, and you can select different layouts for different things. So right now I want to pick my, well, let's pick the basic layout. And here you can pick and choose which things you want to show up in your editor. If there's things that you absolutely never, ever use, and your editor is just looking too full and too confusing, you can take those things and just drag them off and then they won't show up in the front end anymore so you'll end up with a much cleaner easier to use layout or if there's some things that you want to use all the time you can you know move those around I want my spell check to be first I put it over there and then hit save and close and then your editor will reflect that in the front end Now when we go to the, you also see here they've got the restore and the backup. Before you do an upgrade to this editor, it's good to backup your file. It'll save a local file and then you can restore your settings so you don't lose your layouts or any of those other things that you've done. Uh, the other option that they have there is the sync and it also creates a hard copy of your editor's settings, settings and plugins. So at any given moment, you can use the sync button to synchronize this data back to the editor. And uh, that's also useful for when you're installing the editor again or uninstalling it or whatever so that you can resync your settings back just the way you want them. You don't have to go through and set up all those configuration things again. That's a brief overview of the Joomla CK Editor Manager. And uh, we're going to get back and uh, the one other thing we'll touch on here is just options. All that's in the options is your permissions. So you can say, hey, public, can't do anything. And then my publishers, I want them to be able to, you know, do different things with it. So that's a quick overview. Any questions, let me know. RichardBankerWebDesign.com.